how did you balance marriage with being a student? Well, continuing as a student, I should say. It was fun. <laughs> uh, it was a challenge. My grandmother said I'd never finish college. Um, she was devastated by it. Oh, you dropped out? Mm, no. Um, we were married that December. Not, not the first December, but the second December. And <laughs> went through that year. Met, graduated in June. I was supposed to have gone back to school that following September, but I got pregnant. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I, I didn't go back. Um, it was, I don't know, it was one of those things of, 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 of my grandmother being so disappointed that I, both Medgar and I were determined to make her I can't say a liar, but uh, to to make her be in the wrong. So we joined forces. I had always been on the dean's list. Medgar was on the dean's list, and I still say partially because I did his research in his paper. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yes. but, but we we were very good students. We did not fail in 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 our classwork. What not? So that 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 was that was wonderful, but it was tough. It, it was very very tough because I once again had no idea of what a male female relationship was. The only thing I knew was from reading these little romance books, uh, you, you know, where you said I love you, I love you fifty times a day, <laughs> and I kind of expected that. And here's this man saying, "No, it doesn't work like that." Don't you know I love you? Why do you need me to tell you 15 times a day? Well, I need to hear it. Well, then something's wrong. You'd better get yourself together and, 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 and get on with your studies and your work and develop yourself. He was always into self-development. That's and, a wonderful message, though. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, but I wasn't ready to accept that then. <laughs> I Clearly wasn't ready not. I not accept that then. But... but um, the lack of money, but also of watching Medgar wheel and deal and make a way where there was no way. Totally opposite of my father. I, I mean, this man who had all of these girlfriends had us all competing to sell sandwiches that he had one girlfriend making. <laughs> <laughs> to sell sandwiches in the dormitory, which one of us sold, you know, the largest number of uh, our sandwiches would be in his favor, you know. Which one collected the most clothes for dry cleaning that he could take? He used his car to transport people to bus stations and their trucks and this, that, and the other. I mean, he, he found a way out of no way to, um, to make money. And, and, and to me, that was, that, that, that was exciting. But it was still difficult because I didn't know how to cook. Uh, and he thought I should know how to cook. And he came from a large family and everybody cooked. Yes. And they were superb cooks. I didn't know how to boil water. And, you know, the blow up came when uh, he splurged on buying some oysters, fresh oysters. And I attempted to cook those oysters and didn't have sense enough to drain them. <laughs> You know, so there goes that money up, and, and 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 there are lots of other stories I can tell that that, that, that I want, but it was uh, truly a learning experience for me. I learned to stand up for myself. Uh, Medgar said, you, "You you won't take a position and hold it. You, you you need to, if you believe in something, that's it." And I would not argue because we did not argue at home. And uh, alas, one day he asked me, isn't there anything you believe in enough to stand up and fight for it? <laughs>